What's up guys, Adam here from Backyard Gardening and Cooking. In this video, I'm gonna be harvesting my butternut squash and give you guys a couple of tips of how they grew so big. So let's garden on. So we're gonna go into the swash trellis. I'm gonna show you guys how big these butternut squash got. They're technically a butternut type squash, uh, Tahitian melon squash to be exact. Adam, how long have these been growing? They've been growing. This one started growing probably, I don't remember exactly. So the biggest tip that I can give you guys on how to get your, you know, your annuals or your swash to grow this big is to use a soil with a high bacteria level. So I had a lot of cow manure in my soil, but the one thing you want to make sure that the manure is 100% composted, otherwise you could be wasting nitrogen. But that's one reason why this got so big because annuals love soil with a lot of bacteria. Harvest this butternut squash, high heat and melon squash. And I use, you know, these old dog leashes to hold it up because it's so heavy. I actually have a video, you guys can check that out. I'll have a link in the description and a card above. Pretty heavy, it's probably about maybe 12 pounds, maybe 15. Let's go ahead and pick this one too. This one's a lot smaller, probably only maybe about five pounds. So we're also gonna clean this up today, all this area to get ready for the fall. So stay tuned for all my fall stuff, but don't forget to check out my video on the best fall vegetables to grow in the fall and the best potting soil mix to start your seeds in. So we're about to clean everything up over here. Last year I grew some sweet potatoes and there's actually a bunch of sweet potato vines in here. So we're going to see if there's any sweet potatoes that grew in here with all my other stuff I grew this year. all this sweet potato vine right here. So hopefully there's some sweet potatoes in here. Squash. This is the base of the vine of the butternut tahini melon squash that I grew. Here's our sweet potato. <laughs> Again, this was a volunteer, so it wasn't really planning on growing this. All right, guys, remember, if you use the code Backyard Gardener, all one word, you can get $10 off the Greenstock Vertical Garden Tower. Next year, maybe you should buy some um, some ladybugs. Yeah, They're I, pretty thought, cheap. I actually did see one on here. Perfect, see, there you go. You have a lot of um, aphids on this hibiscus. They said you can yeah, spray them really hard with everywhere. the hose. Yeah. I tried neem oil, and it didn't really work. They come back kill them and then they come back. Yeah, you're just smothering the ones that are there. So here, I this weird thing, I don't know if you know this about aphids, I took a bug class after I thought the yeah. ants were getting rid of it. So I took a bug class and it said that the aphid, like they have a one mating season where they actually mate with the males. And so the then the female gives birth and each one of those eggs hatches and gives live birth to clones of itself. So they reproduce over six weeks incredibly fast. Yeah. So she lays like a clutch of like, a, you know, 500 eggs. Each one of those eggs is ready to go with 500 more clones and just, they just birth themselves. Like well, I'm doing the Master Gardener course right now. And then a after you complete the Master Gardener course, you can do the, uh, it's called entomology, right? With the bugs, science yeah. of the bugs. There's a, so you can be an advanced Master Gardener and take uh, additional classes. It'll be done in December. Uh, and they're not the doing they're not doing anything in person. Typically you have um I think what 50 hours of volunteer work, but they don't know how that's gonna be done because, because of the really pandemic. Can, best time to come to Master Gardeners right now. Yeah, it's really easy. I, I have the office all set and do it right from home. I would love to do that. Alright guys, so that was my last butternut squash harvest of the year. And we also cleaned up the garden to get it ready for the fall. So if you guys are starting a fall garden, don't forget to check out my video on the best fall vegetables to grow in the fall and also the best potting soil mix that you guys can start your seeds in. So thanks for watching. Again, if you guys like this kind of content, give it a like, subscribe, and share the video. Thanks for watching.